Welcome back to American Latino TV. I'm your host, Natasha Martinez. As Latinos, we inherently have a little rhythm and spice within our souls, but what makes our next guest special is how she uses it. Erica Lopez is a Brooklyn girl who grew up admiring dance, but certainly never envisioned making a full-fledged career out of it. That changed when her deep-seated passion ultimately led her to the Lauren's Latin Dance Studio, the largest salsa studio in New York City. By the time she turned 18, she completely reconstructed her life and devoted herself to the Caribbean dance form known around the world as salsa. And this is a story that will surely make you get up and dance and one you will only find on American Latino TV. American Latino Athletes, presented by McDonald's. Hi, my name is Erica Lopez, and I'm a professional salsa dancer and teacher at the Lorenz Latin Dance Studio. Well, I was born and raised in Brooklyn. Um, I'm from Puerto Rican and Ecuadorian descent, so music has always been a major part of my life, and it was something that I've always loved. And I was given the opportunity to take classes in the studio about 10 years ago, and I've been here ever since. I'm a very shy person, <laughs> so public speaking is not really my thing, so dancing was kind of a way to express myself non-verbally. I did start off doing hip-hop and salsa at the same time, but this one just kind of sucks to me a little more. I love the fact that I'm able to interact with other dancers especially like with a male partner. The dance is a lot of nonverbal communication and it's kind of feeding off of each other's energy and that's definitely one aspect that I love about it. The song comes on and we start dancing and we just have fun with it. It is just as challenging as a sport. I know a lot of people sometimes they just think it's dancing as like, oh, you know, just something for fun or a pastime. And it's a lot more to it than that. Like, you know, we have to go through technique and conditioning as well as, like we said, just staying in shape in general. It is a workout. We do incorporate lifts and tricks into our routines. So um, especially for the girls, learning how to spin in itself does require a lot of core and, you know, spotting technique. And for the same thing for the gentlemen, they got to have a good frame to be able to carry us and for us to execute the, the moves well. So it is very challenging and it, it does get us in shape. The training is a big part. Growing up Latina, salsa has always been a huge part of my life. So I figured why not take some classes and so I started and I've been here for a year and a half now and it's been a blessing. You start as a, uh, a student and the next thing you know you're on the dance studio and you're like, I got this, like, I can do this. <laughs> so I def it definitely brings out people's personality as well. I think the best thing about being a pro dancer and being able to do what I do is just, there's a lot of salsa congresses around the world and We've been fortunate enough to travel to like Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico and Peru, um, as well as within states, you know, Texas and, and Washington. And it's great. I actually didn't start traveling as much as I have until I started coming here. It's a great feeling when we actually have people come up to us and tell us what a great job we did or you guys were amazing on stage. And the fact that we know that people notice that, the hard work that we put in, um, it's kind of like what well, keeps us going. So being here the song at Lorenz Latin Dance Studio, it's felt like a second home. It is a second home. I am here majority of my time. I definitely feel very blessed and I'm getting emotional. Um, I no, it, it does humble me because I wanna be able to give back. So the fact that I actually have people that do look up to me in a sense, you know, it, it is it is a blessing to me and I, and I am very grateful for it. And it just, it makes me want to keep going. Mm -hmm.